here at the Taj Hotel in Delhi with Jude Kelly, Artistic Director of the South Bank Centre in London. And the Yatras have just held a media debate that's gone out on Indian television. And the subject of that has been the power of one, the power of an individual to affect change. But Jude's leaving today, so I want to ask her what her experience, her, her week-long stay with the train has been like. Well, it's my first time in India, and I can't think of a better way of experiencing India than to be in the company of 350 young people who are so passionate about changing their country for the better. And this idea of travelling through the countryside, through the vast expanses of India, thinking about how do you nourish it, how do you make sense of it for the future. It's been a privilege to be part of that thinking. When the South Bank artists became part of this trip, in a way it was um, kind of a, a coincidence in some respects that there turned out to be so many of us, because obviously there's Vicky from Cape Farewell, uh, who's interviewing me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's Anna from Creative Connections, who's been doing the um, visual minutes, and then myself as artistic director, and then Gori, who was who was the dancer in residence. And actually, the train never expected. I mean, the the, the organisers, Shashank in particular, had deliberately almost said that they weren't going to include art in this train journey. But of course, um, four artists turned up and. Um, instantly I think made a big difference to the tone of the train because uh, being able to talk about the role of art, being able to talk about expressiveness, being able to talk about feelings, about empathy, um, it, it's all been very important actually and I think that, it, that what it's done is it's made the young people be quite open about the feeling they've got that which is that India has to be careful not to become so technocratic and um, one-sided you know logic and uh, formula and and if it loses its, its great cultural heritage and its, its instinct and love of the arts that that would be a, a travesty of its own culture so I think that um, we've made a difference by being here and I think that it also suggests that going into the future because this train journey is going to be a yearly event we'll be looking for how South Bank Centre can support the journey and what kind of artistic exchange we'll start having with India.